And finally, new rule, Trump derangement syndrome isn't a real thing, so don't make it one. Republicans accuse Democrats these days of hating Trump irrationally, like everything he does is awful. Except everything he does is awful. <laughs> so... <laughs> so on the rare occasion when he says something not stupid, don't act like you have Trump derangement syndrome. It happened last weekend when Trump weighed in on the second Max 8 air crash by tweeting, airplanes are becoming far too complex to fly. <laughs> I see it all the time in many products always seeking to go one unnecessary step further when often old and simpler is far better. <laughs> and who knows better about old and simple? <laughs> but TV pundits were all over that tweet, saying it proved that Trump wanted to go back in time to our racist past. Okay, he does want that, but this wasn't about that. Sometimes a cigar is just a cigar. And he's right. We do over-engineer shit all the time. And designing a plane where the autopilot software sometimes steers it into the dirt is just the most tragic example. The second most tragic example is my old vape. <laughs> my old vape, the Pax. I liked it a lot. I mean, I would have if I was a pot smoker. <laughs> no, Pax and I shared a lot of good times. But then it fell victim to the upgrade bug. The new model doesn't have a mouthpiece. <laughs> which is an odd thing to get rid of for something you stick in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you can't suck it, and that sucks. <laughs> it was perfectly fine the way it was, and now it's so hard to use this thing, I'm so close to watching Morning Joe not stoned. <laughs> This is what I call reverse improvement, making an upgrade that nobody wants, needs, or likes. They do it with vape pens, too. Press five times to turn off. Press three times. Listen, I'm here on Earth to have a good time, not to read instruction manuals. <laughs> and the last thing you want to do when you're high is figure shit out. <laughs> Never get stoned before assembling IKEA furniture. <laughs> you spend the whole time thinking, who is Alan and why is this wrench named after him? <laughs> Cars these days have more useless features than Jared Kushner. <laughs> why was replacing the car door handle with a button an improvement? It's not, because it's not better if everything in the car is run by a computer, because the shit is always glitchy. Once, while I was driving a voice-activated rental car, I said, car, turn on headlights. The car said, would you like to open the trunk? <laughs> I said, open the trunk? Fuck no. <laughs> Opening trunk. <laughs> No, closed trunk, turn on lights. I don't know what's stupid, or a feature where you can verbally open your trunk at 60 miles an hour, <laughs> or getting into an argument with a car. <laughs> Last weekend, I was in Dallas. The faucet in the sink in my dressing room looked like this. Now, I needed to hot water to shave and cold water to wash my face. <laughs> and I never found out how to make that happen. <laughs> really. The black thing in the middle makes the water go on, but hot and cold? I call it the fuck you sink. <laughs> because when I say I want it hot, it says... I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. <laughs> There's even a smart toilet now, although, let's be honest, if it was really that smart, would it be a toilet? <laughs> Now, they are working on a toilet that analyzes your pee as it hits the side of the bowl and gives a readout of all your vital functions. That's fantastic. I'm always for real progress. <laughs> but that's not this. This toilet says it's a, quote, fully immersive experience. Because who doesn't want to be immersed in a toilet? <laughs> I'm not kidding, it has Bluetooth, Alexa, built-in speakers, and mood lighting. 
so you can pretend you're taking a dump in the middle of Studio 54. <laughs> in 2017, Apple unveiled facial recognition technology for opening your phone, because remembering four digits, what is this, an IQ test? <laughs> so this is what happened. Unlocking it is as easy as looking at it and swiping up. And, you know, let's try that again. <clears throat> ho, ho, ho. Let's uh, go to back up here. Apple itself can't get the shit to work at their own show. What shot do we have? There's always a glitch. Like last week when Nike, get this, ran into a problem with their new self-lacing sneakers. Yes, self-lacing for people who literally can't tie their shoes and chew gum at the same time. <laughs> So instead of tying your shoes on your own, you know, like a loser, <laughs> you simply put on your shoes, pull out your phone, find Wi-Fi, open the app, <laughs> enter your password, find the button that says tie shoes, close the app, return the phone to your pocket, and catch up with your friends who left 15 minutes ago. 